Hi, my name is Yunisia, and I'm going to be presenting the cancer therapy drug, Paraceptin, and it's an immunotherapeutic drug. So the pathway of this drug, it's a monoclonal antibody, monoclonal antibody against ERB2. ERB2 is also called ERB-B2 or HER2. It's all the same protein, and this protein is expressed in all cells. However, it's overexpressed in cancer cells. This is used to treat breast cancer mostly, but it's also used to treat gastrointestinal cancer as well. And essentially what this does is it marks the cell to be phagocytosed through a process called antibody-dependent cellular toxicity, or ADCC. Paraceptin is usually used in combination with other drugs in order to increase its efficacy. So the mechanism shown to the left is that of a regular cell. As we can see, these are two dimerized receptors and it's an example of RTK signaling. So when a ligand binds to both of the receptors, they dimerize and phosphorylate one another's tyrosine. This in hand phosphorylates STAT3 and mTOR, which are the two proteins that we should focus on for this pathway. STAT3 is associated with a lot of different cancers because it promotes the translation of oncogenes and pre-oncogenes, which lead to cancer. However, in a regular cell, it just promotes proliferation. While STAT3 is going through its transduction, mTOR is also going through its own pathway and creates the protein transdumab, which is circled there in the red. This will inhibit the, this will inhibit the receptors to stop the phosphorylation of these proteins and tell the cell to stop its signal. In a regular cell, this is an example of negative feedback loop because once it becomes activated, A goes to B, B to C, C to D, etc., until that final end point turns itself off at point A. However, in cancer cells, this is inhibited, so it cannot turn itself off, and it's constantly on, and is constantly proliferating itself uncontrollably, which is why it leads to cancer. So there are many different side effects to this drug. Um, a lot of them will differentiate depending on what type of cancer that you're being treated with. If you have breast cancer, you'll have vomiting, infusion reactions, diarrhea, infection, most of those uh, symptoms that are associated with chemotherapy. The same for gastric, except for there are more such as weight loss or upper respiratory tract infections, fever, etc. However, if you have a history of essentially existence, this could be a lot worse for you. Um, an example, if you have a history of cardiac problems, this can actually lead to cardiac arrest and death. So it's not recommended that you use Heritin for this. Or if you're pregnant, this can lead to a lot of different fetal uh, deformations or diseases or even the death of your fetus. That, so this drug is not recommended for that either. However, it also increases the risk of other illnesses as well. So my question is, because this protein is expressed in both normal cells and cancer cells, does it prevent the rapid healing of wounds such as those in epithelial cells when you cut yourself or something like that? So here are my references and thanks for listening. Bye.